I spent ages using ChatGPT last week to try and write copy for my website, only to realize that it sounded way too robotic like. Does this sound familiar to you? Then I had a light bulb moment. What if I could train ChatGPT to write exactly like me, taking into account all my personality, my style, and my quirks? I built what I call an AI humanizer custom GPT and it has changed how I write content. Today, I'll show you exactly how to do it. And by the end of this video, you should have your own custom GPT to write exactly how you want it to. But first, let me explain what custom GPTs actually are. Imagine having a chat GPT that's been personally trained to your preferences, style, and needs. It's not just AI, it's your AI. The problem with standard AI responses is that they can sound too robotic or too AI-ish. But custom GPTs solve this by focusing on three different things. One, your specialized knowledge. By uploading guidelines or samples of the writing, it is trained to write how you want it to. Number two, your specific tasks. Whether you need help with brainstorming, editing, coding, your GPT knows exactly what you want it to do. Three, your personal instructions. You can explicitly tell it how you want the output to look like. So this could be sentence structure, bullet points in a table, whatever you want it to be. And here's the time saving part. You don't have to prompt this every single time. The custom GPT will save that knowledge and use it every time you go back to it. So before creating your own custom GPT, ask yourself these three questions. What specific problem am I trying to solve? What repetitive tasks take up too much of my time? And what specialized knowledge would help make AI more valuable to me? For me, the answers were clear. I needed to create more content, but couldn't clone myself and wanted my voice to show up across all platforms. I was tired of generic AI outputs that required extensive rewriting. I also needed it to have context on my business and goals so it could make recommendations accordingly. Now, this is my use case, but custom GPTs go way beyond just writing helpers. There are plenty of custom GPTs you could create. For example, it could be a code fixer, a storyteller GPT, or a meal planner. The key is that these tools don't replace your expertise, rather they should complement and help you. Ultimately, you want to remove the repetitive element of your work so you can focus on the highest value items. So, with all that being said, let's create this custom GPT now. So first to get started, head to chatgpt.com. See this here in the top right corner, it's explore GPTs. So you click on that. And here's the main menu for our GPTs. So if you go in here, you can see some of the options. And these are ones that people have created and the most popular ones. You can choose by category, depending on what you want to look at. Some might be paid, some might be free. But you can have a browse and see which ones might make sense for you. But we want to create one. So you can see in the top right corner here, there's a create button. So let's start here. So you can see this split screen here. We've got on the left side, this is like the create and configure area. This basically is how you actually give it instructions to create the custom GPT. The preview on this side we'll get to, but it'll basically show what the output looks like. So it starts off here. That's ChatGPT asking you what you would like to create. So basically it says, what would you like to make? Um, for this, I think you can be as detailed as you can, but ultimately you'll be asked a few questions so you can go back and forth and find you in this tab. So I'll go through both of these tabs to create and configure. Create is when you want to like give it a more conversational creation process so you can chat back and forth with ChatGPT in, uh, in order to create this custom GPT. The configure tab is more technical and we'll go into that in a second. So for now, we'll just start and create. So as I said, you should be specific about your needs. To start off, I just have this text here that I've written. I want to create an AI humanizer writing coach that helps me write content that maintains my authentic voice, conversational, occasionally witty, I like that, with simple explanations for complex topics. It should help with brainstorming, drafting, and polishing content while preserving my personal style. You can see here, this wrench shows that it's actually updating the GPT and it'll do this every time you give it new instructions. Okay, likely the second step, it'll ask you to give it a name. So this, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call mine Kian's AI Humanizer. So now it's creating a profile picture. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Here's what it looks like. I don't think this really represents what I look like, but I'm happy enough with it for now. This feels about right. Okay, so it's asking me now, what should it emphasize or avoid in its responses? You can go into a lot more detail here. I'm gonna say something like, I don't use the word awesome. So let's not use that. Okay, so you can obviously ask it more questions and keep going, but for now, I'm just gonna say that it's fine and then I can show you what the configuration tab looks like. One quick tip. If you're unsure of what you should give your custom GPT, you can always just ask ChatGPT what you should include in some of these custom GPTs. I know each use case might be slightly different depending on what you're trying to achieve, 
So you may as well use the tool to help you create the tool. Now let's have a quick look at the configure tab. So the configure tab is where you can really fine tune your custom GPT. So you can see here, it's incorporated some of the information that I've already put in. So it's got my name, this is the profile image, and it's kind of created this blurb talks to what I'm trying to do. As I said, I've called a Keen's AI Humanizer. The description here just tells you what it does. Here are the instructions. This is the heart of your GPT. This is detailed guidance that shapes how it responds. I will come back to this in a moment. These are conversation starters. So you can see here on the right, it has some kind of prompts you can click on very easily to see how it works. So you can customize them to however you want. The next section is knowledge. This is where you can include extra documents. So for example, in my writing coach, I could include brand voice guidelines, but maybe there are other sources of material that you'd want to include here, depending on your use case. Next is capabilities. So you can decide what your custom GPT can do. So if you need web search, you can click here, the canvas feature on ChatGPT, image creation and code interpreter and data analysis. I don't think I'll need a code interpreter and data analysis one, so I'm going to leave it. Finally, in this section, there's the actions. This is for advanced users who want to connect their GPTs to external tools. I'm not going to run through this section right now, but please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a video on this, and I'll be sure to create one soon. I'll share what I'm including in this box in the description below, but here's what you should consider including regardless of your use case. The specific problem this GPT is solving for, your preferred communication style, for example, formal or casual, process steps you typically follow in your work, common mistakes to avoid in your field, examples of what good looks like for you, specialized terminology relevant to your domain, and how you want information organized and presented. So I've included my longer list of instructions in the configure tab, which I created offline. I'll share this in the description if you want to replicate it yourself, but you can have a look here at what it kind of looks like to give the custom GPT the very specific instructions that we need. Okay, once you have your custom GPT configured, you can actually test it. So let's try something quickly. So let's ask it to write a simple blog about the health benefits of drinking water. So this is a pretty good start. I think this is kind of how I write this blog. This uses bigger words and probably is a bit more jargony. So I think we've got a pretty good humanizer text here. How about we take this paragraph and see how the AI humanizer would rewrite it. So it's pretty good. It's shown the language changes of which, which make it less jargony. So this is working pretty well for me. But like with any good tool, your custom GPT needs to get feedback to make it even better. You can always go back to the Create or Configure tab to update the custom GPT as you learn more about the responses. If the responses aren't quite matching your style, update your instructions with more specific examples. Add more knowledge documents if there are gaps in how it understands your brand. And you can give it more human-like feedback here if you can't really understand where you need to put it in instructions or in knowledge, and this will help update it to what you want. The key to this is that it is an iterative process. The first time I did the AI Humanizer, it didn't exactly capture my voice straight away. But after a few rounds of feedback, it has become an invaluable writing part for me. Once you're happy with all of this, you actually have to hit Create on it. It's important to note, after you hit Create, you can always edit it in the Create or Configure tab. You also need to decide who can access your custom GPT. So there's only me, and this is a personal one then. You can do it for anyone with this link, so you can then share your custom GPT with anyone, or in the GPT store. This will basically mean that anyone can search for your GPT in the Explore GPTs page, which we saw at the start. I'm going to make Keen's AI Humanizer available via a link, and I'll share it below in the description so you can try it out. But just remember, it's trained on my voice, so you want to create your own that matches your unique style. However, it might be helpful for some viewers just to see what the instructions are and then bring them into their own voice. So here's what to do next. Create your own custom GPT using the process that I showed you. And let me know in the comments if you need any help or have any questions. Think about testing it with a small project that you're working on at the moment. All the links I mentioned are in the description below, and you'll be able to find more content on my website, www.aiproductivitycoach.com. I want to hear from you. Let me know how your custom GPT turns out in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to bring you along on this journey. Thanks for watching. Now go create your custom GPT.